All right, so this is how I dye my hair, Phantom Green by Arctic Fox. This is what my hair looked like before when I was using a brand called Raw. I was using their super green shade. This is the Arctic Fox hair dye. I use Phantom Green. This is what it looks like purely when you don't add anything with it. I just add a little bit of conditioner. I decided that pure Phantom Green was a bit too yellow for me, so I decided to add a little bit of blue in it. So, I'm adding, I don't know, I'd, I'd say like half of the bottle. When I dyed my hair after this, I kind of refreshed the dye after. I only used like about a fourth of the bottle, but this is just so I can get my hair completely saturated. I only have like a little bit of hair. As you can see, I have like that kind of undercut thing, so I don't need that much. This is the conditioner I used. It is Garnier Fruit Tease Curl Nourish with no parabens. You have to use a sulfate-free shampoo and a paraben-free conditioner when you have dyed hair. Otherwise, it'll strip out the dye way too early. This is the blue hair dye I use. It is Ion Color Brilliance in the shade Cyan. I'm adding about one-fourth of it. I added one-fourth of the conditioner too. You can see it's like one to four of the green hair dye. Mixing that together, make sure it's mixed well, otherwise the hair dye will be uneven. I decided that it was still a little bit too yellow, so I'm adding a little bit more blue. In the end, the blue hair dye and the conditioner were about equal. And this is the shade that I had. I really like this shade. This is me after I bleached my hair. I tried to get as much of the other hair dye out as possible. And this is me after I put the dye on. I didn't show me putting the dye on, but I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to do that. I put the hair dye in at 2.30 and I washed it out at 4.30, so it was in for two hours. You want to leave it on as long as possible. I actually like to sleep in it usually. And yes, my screensaver is BTS. Any armies here, XD. <laughs> So, this is the dye right before I wash it out in the shower. Make sure you want to rinse it out with really cold water. This is it with the dye rinsed out. I kind of missed my roots. My roots are still yellow. That was totally user error. That wasn't, that didn't have anything to do with the dye. This is my hair in natural light. I'm standing in front of a window. It looks different in artificial light and natural light. I think it looks better. In natural light, it looks a lot brighter and more green. So, I'm adding a little bit more just to my roots. This is just kind of like a fixer-upper. Again, that was like, that was totally my fault. It has nothing to do with the dye. A good way to test the hair dye is to kind of like wipe it against the side there. You can see it has blue undertones. And this is after I put the dye in my roots. This is after it's fully dried. It's a lot lighter than it was when it's wet. You can always tell that when your hair is wet, it's going to come out lighter because it looks darker when it's wet. I really love this shade. It's a really pretty emerald. I'd say that it's about the same as the raw, if not a little bit darker, a little bit duller, I would say. It's a little bit duller than raw, but that's what I wanted. And this is what it looked like a couple days later. I really love this shade. I think this is... I'm going to start using this hair dye more often now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.